Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Ramadan Mubarak everyone. I hope inshallah your Ramadan is amazing and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts your fasts, your du'as. Don't look at the fact that I have one nail on. I'm literally about to put it on, it popped off, so don't judge me there. But I'm really, really excited inshallah. I think this Ramadan is gonna be absolutely incredible. I'm actually headed out right now to meet Shahd, inshallah. Um, we're gonna be going out for brunch and we have a little bit of a date planned, inshallah. So it's gonna be really nice. It's actually so insane, subhanAllah, how time works because around this time last year, we had seen each other in Dubai around the same period and we're seeing each other again this year around the same period, subhanAllah, which is like so insane. So I've already changed. I have on this green abaya. I believe it's from Hawa Clothing. I think it's very elegant and I was gonna wear it with like wide-legged jeans. I also got it in another color. I think it was in a purple they sent over. But this one is my absolute favorite because y'all know I love this color and this is what it looks like from the back I normally like to wear my hijab quite long at the back so that it drapes over and I'm choosing between two bags Which I wish you guys could help me choose but it is what it is This black bag that I got from Charles and Keith, which is really cute It's just literally just a simple basic black bag you guys know i've literally worn this everywhere but i just love her because she's compact and she's cute she doesn't do too much you know what i'm saying this is what it looks like close up or i have another option which is super cute and i haven't actually worn and it's this cute little fendi purse i feel like this is the one i'm gonna go for because e i'm in dubai like i need to you know i need to amp it up a little bit so this is the cute little fendi love it so much it's so cute so yeah, this is the outfit. I think I'm gonna actually wear this and then I'm gonna wear it with my brown Hermes sandals. And I just feel like it just gives the look. You feel me? Like, is this not giving Dubai? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Anyways, I don't wanna be late because I'm usually a very punctual person and yeah, I'm sure she's already headed out. Oh, also, this is my scent of the day. It's Baccarat Rouge and I'm gonna mix it with something else. I haven't decided what as of yet. Just be a little generous with that, yeah. Just be a little generous. Not too generous though, cause you know, she's a little pricey. Anyways, I'm gonna head out now. Guys, I'm running about 15 minutes late, but hopefully inshallah, I'll be fine. It's just that there's so much traffic. It literally says it's gonna take 40 minutes to get there. I ended up getting these really cute, just because flowers for Shet. If whenever I haven't seen a friend for a very long time, I love, love, love to gift just because flowers. I don't know, I just think it like, I love receiving flowers and I love giving flowers. Like, because in the time period that I haven't seen them, they've accomplished so much. They've done so much in their lives. So even just like a little bit of joy Joy, I feel like it's such an incredible feeling and it will always be reciprocated so the nice thing about this flower shop is they let you actually customize and pick out like the colors and you get to pick out your own flowers I feel like she'll definitely love these and I love the color selections that I chose and they're so fresh Woo! damn somebody gotta give me flowers now immediately immediately <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit shy, huh? I'm still a bit camera shy. <laughs> but happy to be here nonetheless. <laughs> We got her with her little flowers. The flowers that she got me. Nobody buys me flowers. So you always buy yourself flowers. You deserve them. Wallahi. So unexpected. Right? It matches her outfit. Look at this, guys. So cute. Mashallah. <laughs> Aywa, harakat! How cute is it that you got my flowers? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm a cute lady, I you got help. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I was caught off guard, I was like, oh. <laughs> New. <laughs> That's what happens when you're used to buying yourself flowers. You're just like, wait, what What? What happened here? I'm like, I like it. I like it. I like, I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're heading over to a library. It's like an art studio library. Thing. So we're gonna go there inshallah a little bit later. We're gonna go to the beach. It's gonna be real cute You feel me like very relaxing very chill, it's very chill. Empty, honestly because I feel like it's Ramadan so everyone's yeah. like I feel exactly. like even people were looking at us and they They're were like, like why are these hijabis eating? Eating. Why do you think? Mind your business. Mind your business. This is so funny 
Which one are we looking at? I wish I could take a picture of all the. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> right now, there's three cameras. We have her phone, my camera, my phone. Okay, give them a little detail of where you got your outfit. I am wearing some little flats. Some. We love your ballet flats. Very on brand. I'm such a flats. Girl. Yeah, love it. Um, these pants are from Turkey. Some random street in Turkey. We love that. My top, my bodysuit. We are boycotting. Um, and this abaya is from this Batari brand, LN abayas, I think. Batteries do the best abayas. They really do. But today's vibe is very much giving green. I don't know, we just naturally decided to wear similar colors. So I'm wearing it's the Prophet's Aya. favorite color. But yeah, that's my outfit. Oh yeah, and then I'm wearing my Hermes sandals. Very basic. Bougie. Very she's, cute. Very cute. She's, like, she's very like dainty. <laughs> this girl left her keys inside of the car. The and she didn't even lock the door, matter of fact. Out of the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that I'm really drawn towards is Al-Shukur, the most thankful. Gratitude in the realm of Islam is not merely an emotion, it's a profound state of being that echoes in every heartbeat, every breath. As we journey through the blessed quarters of Ramadan, the essence of gratitude really becomes our guiding light, illuminating our path, casting a soft glow on the tapestry of our lives. Each sip of water at iftar, each morsel of nourishment is a testament to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's immense bounty, his boundless generosity. It's a reminder of his divine love, a love that transcends the boundaries of time and space, and a love that is a sanctuary, a refuge. As Allah al-Shakur reminds us in the Qur'an, if you are grateful, I will surely increase you in favor. This divine promise really guides us, urging us to cultivate a garden of gratitude within our hearts, a garden where thankfulness blossoms like the most exquisite flowers, their fragrance wafting through our lives, infusing it with grace and beauty. It is in this garden that we really find tranquility, peace, a sense of fulfillment that transcends the pleasures of this world. Gratitude is a sacred dialogue, a conversation with Allah, where we express our awe and wonder at his creations, our appreciation for his blessings, both seen and unseen. It's an intimate moment of connection, a whisper of love, a sigh of contentment. It's a realization that every moment, every breath is a gift, a precious treasure to be cherished. So as we navigate the spiritual voyage of Ramadan, let us really immerse ourselves in the ocean of gratitude. For gratitude is truly the key that opens the door to abundance, to Allah's love, to his mercy, and it's the compass that will guide us towards him, and shakur the most thankful because it's in this gratitude that we'll be able to find our purpose and our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our path towards eternal bliss. Oh. <laughs> oh my god guys, we're literally about to get attacked by birds. We're actually no, no, no. No, no, no. He, Wallahi al Azim, he ate my abaya. He came and he attacked my abaya. Yeah, that was. Wallahi. That was a little, they're gonna and he dragged my abaya. You think if I shoot them, they'll go? I think they really want our food. Go! Get out! <laughs> go! That worked! Indecisive again, huh? I wasn't gonna try any of them, and then we. Tr this is why no options is, good, <laughs> is better sometimes. I don't do well with options. You really don't. Thank you. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. 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 Put it together. Yes. No, no, here. No, I, got no. it. I got it. I got it. it don't, ignore her. Yeah. I think it worked on mine. No, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Say it well, it said done. No. Ha 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 
Sparkles, oh, but it's actually like sparkly, and he has it in black. I'm gonna get this one for sure. Ooh, this is the black. This is the black. Wow, <laughs> the hijab bottle for you. Oh, the white is so nice. Hijab secure, baby. Cause when you know, you know, when you hold your own, like how you were in me, that diamond on your ring. Okay guys, so I ended up just getting some hijabs instead because I couldn't find any abayas that really caught my eye. But I'm definitely going to come back because there were other abayas that I saw. We just don't have enough time to look at everything. So because they close at midnight, I'm definitely going to come back another day inshallah and actually show it to you guys properly. They're also a little bit weird about cameras so I knew that I couldn't vlog like every single thing that I saw. Two abayas that really stood out to me that I was like this close to buying and I was like, I just told myself I'll wait it out. Um, so yeah, anyways. I'm definitely going to rewear this because it's really fancy and where I'm at right now it's not giving the vibe I feel like I need to rewear this like properly here is, as I was saying because they close really late during Ramadan a lot of the shops here will close at like midnight and stuff <laughs> you can't vlog with people that you know a lot it's so embarrassing yeah I put it down oh, yes, <laughs> Oh, my God. 